The calculator, like all computer components, is a mass of electronic circuitry. It deals with electric pulses representing binary ones or zeros and can add, subtract, divide, multiply or make selections from any numbers. When the output is large, it can be on magnetic tape or magnetic discs are very convenient. The main memory or store of a computer consists of a matrix made up of a million or more tiny ring magnets. Each one can be magnetized by an electric current passing through it. A punched card is one widely used type of input, though there are others. One or more holes in different positions on the card can represent any numeral, letter or conventional sign. The cards can be fed into the computer extremely rapidly. The computer output can be by means of a printer, which converts all the binary information into words or figures. But computers do many important jobs that need little actual output. They control industrial processes, for example, and keep records. In such cases, they only report exceptional or unusual facts. A computer is a straightforward, everyday machine. The simple way of studying the principle of how it works is to reduce it to five basic functions. First, there is a means of input. Computers deal with numbers, and the complex calculations they carry out are the result of their ability to do many simple, ordinary sums with speed and accuracy. It seems extraordinary that with such a limited number of abilities, computers can do so much. The computer comes alive when the operator supplies it with a set of instructions. major calculation might take an unaided man a year. A computer could do it in less than a second. 